Hello there fellow collectors, welcome back to the channel. It's Evil here doing my very first figure sneak peek video for the newly announced Hot Toys Sabine Wren. Uh, what better figure to lead it off here? Uh, sneak peeks are going to be coming from me soon in the future here more often as I get into more content for YouTube. Uh, this is a, a series I've been wanting to do for a while, which is basically a sneak peek look at upcoming figures that are newly announced. Uh, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell to be notified of future content coming from me. There is going to be a decent amount of content that I am going to be doing here in the near future as I got my cases set up now. All my figures are displayed, so I plan on starting to release a bunch of new content here in the near future. So this is the first figure in the Ahsoka line from Hot Toys, and the first thing I'll say is they absolutely nailed it. Uh, this head sculpt is incredible. I would say this is on par, if not better, than the recent one they did with Fennec Shand, which I have that figure as well, and that head sculpt is also very well done. But this one, to me, just seems uh, basically perfect. I don't have a bad thing to say about this head sculpt. Uh, I feel like they nailed the look from the casting of her character. I also think that they did the hair really, really well. Uh, her purple hair really stands out, and I think it looks really, really good with this figure. Um, the rolling eyes are another thing that they added in. Uh, so in this next photo here, I just really appreciate the differences when you get into the separate rolling eyeballs. Like, look at the differences, even between these two photos, capturing, like, the subtlety and the looks for her. Uh, I think that that is so cool, and it really enhances the posability for this figure. And I, I really think... It's crazy how much you can change the look just by moving the eyes. So I'm really glad that they've added this in for this figure. And I hope they continue to do this uh, more often when it comes to figures down the line that they release. So the next thing I want to talk about is her outfit. Uh, I've always loved Mandalorian armor. And I think not only do you get this unique Mandalorian inspired design, but you also get the pop from the colors for her armor, which I think is very unique and it's gonna draw a lot of people into this figure. Sabine has always been a really creative character and that really shows here in, in the armor as well as the character design with her purple hair, the purple in her armor, just a different color of the shoulder, you know, the shoulder piece. Um, even the helmet has like this subtle blue on there on the corner, uh, just all these little nuances and colors. So I think her armor looks just absolutely awesome. Uh, another really cool thing about this is her like i really like her gauntlets and the, the design on those and also this is a really cool belt oh uh, and then you got the lightsaber hanging there i think overall they also nailed it with this outfit i think proportionately too like it looks really really good as far as her body size goes i think that they did a really nice job as far as getting the proportions right on this one and then i want to go back and touch on the helmet again for a second here this figure is going to be very difficult to pose for me with the helmet on because the head sculpt quality is so damn good. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to put the helmet on this figure. I'm probably going to keep the helmet off just because, like I said, the sculpt is so, so good. So we'll see about that. Uh, maybe it'll make for some good pictures and maybe some short term poses, but I'm likely going to be leaving the helmet off for this one. So like I said, helmet on looks pretty cool, but I'm going to have to go helmet off so again you get the rolling eye look here i think it just looks so good with the head sculpt and having the ability to do the rolling eyes like i said previously so then we get this photo with sabine and ahsoka of course they're using the older ahsoka figure which is interesting because i think people are expecting that going they're going to release a new ahsoka figure so i do think that there is a new ahsoka figure that's going to be coming but I don't think it's going to be the same outfit based on what happened in episode four. You know, my prediction is later on without getting into spoilers that she's probably going to have a new outfit. And I think that's what it's going to be uh, based on is one of the outfits that she has or the changes in her outfit with her character moving forward. Uh, but nevertheless, this Mandalorian Ahsoka with this, uh, you know, like with this cloak on, I think it just looks really awesome with sabine you could do some cool poses that's another great thing about this figure is you know you can pose sabine with ahsoka and other figures from the ahsoka line but also inevitably when they release other rebels characters you can make a rebel shelf 
So you have some versatility there as far as how you want to pose her, which I think adds value. And that's really cool to be able to do that. So moving on here, I want to talk about the accessories that comes with this figure. Uh, I like how it comes with her Lothcat. I think that's a really cool addition, a great addition for this set. Uh, we also get this LED lightsaber powered by USB. However, we really have yet to see the true quality of these. Uh, I'm thinking that the LED quality is probably going to be similar to the battery ones, uh, but it's just going to be plugged in. So we will see, obviously, in these photos, whenever they show these LED lightsabers, they Photoshop them to make them look like they're really bright. We will just have to wait and see. Hopefully they are good enough quality for me to use these rather than get, you know, alternative light up sabers. I really don't want to get into that. So hopefully they will suffice, but we will see. But again, I do like that they included that uh, addition for this figure. I think that the Ezra hologram is a cool addition for accessories, but I personally will never use it. Uh, this figure is going to allow for some just amazing variations and other poses and the probably the last one that i would do is sabine using the ezra hologram uh, we saw it for a brief moment in the show we'll see how the story progresses with ezra um, but i just don't see myself using this ezra hologram nevertheless it's pretty cool i personally am just not really a fan of the holograms other than the one that i have displayed is commander cody with palpatine executing order 66 i feel like that one is really iconic and worthy of a pose but a lot of these other ones uh, not really too much of a fan for using the holograms. Uh, then you get the light. Uh, we talked about the lightsaber. You know, you get her blasters and then you get various hands, a pretty basic stand. Uh, but again, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, and I'm I'm happy with the accessories that this figure comes with at this price point. So speaking of price, Sideshow has this listed for 271 USD. I think when you compare her to characters like Fennec and Casca, who were recently released, uh, I think this is a very fair price point for this figure. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be a little bit more given the accessories we're getting with the Lothcat, with the USB powered lightsaber. Uh, I just think that this is a great value for this one. I'm happy, you know, to be getting the value uh, that I am with this one. Overall, I am extremely excited for this to come out. Uh, I already have my pre-order in with Underground Figures, which is a company I highly recommend uh, to anyone out there who collects. Um, I cannot wait to see what other characters they release from this line as well. The show is gearing up to be a excellent or an excellent show. Uh, I cannot wait to see what other figures they announce. Uh, honestly, I'm more worried about what they're not going to announce from this show because there are so many great characters, and I really hope that we get uh, somewhat of a complete line because I don't think you can have enough of the characters in the show. They've all been excellent so far. So I really hope they keep them coming. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments and whether or not you'll be picking this one up. I would love to hear your thoughts. So please leave a comment down below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching it and I will see you all in the next one.